in 2021 i looked like this i was depressed i was sad i had no social life basically my life sucked no one wanted to hang out with me i couldn't play any sports i was addicted to junk food and video games and yeah maybe you can also relate however this is me in 2023 from 180 pounds to 150 pounds i'd actually managed to lose a bunch of weight most importantly i actually managed to turn a 180 in my life i'm more social now i have a passion for fitness now i'm no longer overweight and chubby i threw my addictions of video games and junk food in the trash now i'm super into fitness and i'm training for half marathon and I've developed a growth mindset. Most importantly, I'm not depressed anymore. See, in 2022, I was sick and tired of everyone bullying me and everyone believing that I couldn't do anything with my life because I was fat and addicted to video games and junk food. In 2022, of the summer of 2022, me and my brother-in-law decided to go to the gym every single weekday. Long story short, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know what progressive overload was, what splits were. However, I fell in love with the process. Despite starting myself and making like little progress, I loved every single moment of it i actually began losing weight and this motivated me to keep going to keep going and every pound loss was a step closer and closer to my goal losing weight changed my life completely it not only helped me transform from a fat chubby loser to a more fit and proactive person but losing weight had more benefits than just the physical ones. In fact, there are mental and spiritual benefits as well. First one I'd like to talk about is social life. See, before I know social life, there are two reasons why. Number one is that I'm a huge introvert. I don't even like talking to people. But number two is that I was a huge loser. And this is the truth. Nobody likes to hang around with a loser. People don't want to associate themselves with that. However, once I did lose weight, people started to notice and want to hang out with me. People want to actually hang out with you because they want to associate themselves with that kind of mindset, with that kind of person, right? If you're trash, nobody really wants to associate themselves with you. So by losing weight, I became more than trash. I became an actual person. And becoming an actual person, I actually got more social life. Number two is looks maxing. This is entirely physical, yet it actually has several benefits. Looks maxing is a term basically means that transforming your looks or just looking better over time. This can be done with makeup or in my case, this is done with weight loss. When you're chubby, your face looks absolutely disgusting. However, once you lose weight, your face slims down and when your face slims down you look a lot better by looking better people wanted to hang out with me more i was less chubby and by looking better people actually started to treat me better this is another benefit of weight loss and number three is my mental health yep i'm not depressed anymore see when i was fat and incapable of doing anything i found myself that i was a loser and by being a loser i couldn't achieve anything and thus this negatively impacted my mental health believing that i couldn't do anything and thus well I got depressed. Ever once I actually did lose weight, this actually positively impacted my mental health by encouraging myself and having the realization that change is possible with hard work. By losing weight, it got rid of my depression and I developed a growth mindset to replace it. So what can you do about it? You might be in a similar situation that I was in before, that I was suffering in before. And for you, I have four simple tips. Number one is just be consistent. Progress is made by becoming 1% better every single day. And without consistency, no matter how hard you work on specific days, you will fall off. So consistency is very important. Create a schedule of when you're going to go, of what days you're going to go, and etc. on whatever hobby. This could be the gym, this could be playing the piano, or something like that. Consistency is important for everything. Number two is discipline. See, motivation is powerful, but it's not always there. There are times where you you might not be motivated you might not feel like doing anything and these times are normal you might not have gotten enough sleep last night in situations like these you must call on discipline which is basically doing the hard work especially when you don't feel like it and by doing the hard work especially when you don't feel like it you're able to be consistent tying into tip number one which is consistency without consistency you will fall off and without discipline you cannot be consistent and number three is to literally just do it or to start now see there's a famous quote you start one day or you start on day one now you are never going to make any progress if you don't even cross the starting line like you don't even cross the starting line you're not 
gonna make any progress. That is common Bruh. sense. So at the beginning, don't overcomplicate yourself with research. If you don't even start doing what you want to do, you're never gonna start and you're never ever gonna make any progress. And finally, the last tip, tip number four, is to believe and believe that you can do it. Have faith in the progress, in the journey, and in what you are about to do. Believe that you can change. Let's say if you're fat and overweight like I was. Believe that you can lose weight. Believe that you can exercise. And believe that you can get into the best freaking shape of your life. So believe that you can do it. Start right now. Be disciplined. And of course, be consistent. And those are the four tips I have for you that can potentially change your life forever. Now, thank you very much for watching. If you want to actually learn about the workout routine that I use to lose all the weight looking from this to looking like this now, then I highly recommend you watch my daily life videos or fitness vlogs or a random video that YouTube recommends for you. Be sure to subscribe because I want to hit 1000 subscribers one day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.